Air Drone Finance, we have to talk. My name is Mike Mads. Let's start this video. Before we start the video, as always, Air Community, make some noise, especially after this price drama. Many people left the space. Every like matters, every comment matters. The more people engage, the better for the video, the more people are gonna see about Air Drone. Pretty simple. Let's start. All right, let's stop wasting time. Let's jump straight into it, especially here, guys, as the price action in the recent days was absolutely brutal. Many people got shaken out. Unfortunately, this is just reality. So if you're still here, congratulations to you. You held one of the craziest price action dips I've ever seen in crypto, especially with the fear here over on Twitter and the news. It is looking much, much better here just a couple of days after. So congratulations to you. Today we're gonna to cover, of course, the good. Are still things aligned here with the airdrome and with our price targets? The bad, some things we need to cover. Price action here, what happened in the recent days? and what we can look forward to and now what what are the next steps are we going to have a v-shaped recovery here or are going to things take longer than expected let's start all right signing off with the good here and one controversial thing but one thing you need to understand in investing is this right here a sentiment check you need to understand that when we are in extreme fear like right now those are usually the best times to buy when people leave the space, when people think it's over, when people expect for crypto to crash to zero. This is the time to be in. And usually, of course, guys, this is the time where the bottom is close or in. Of course, this is also bullish for the airdrome price action, as we hope that the bottom here for airdrome is finally in with the higher low that we just created. Next thing up, we have, of course, nothing is changed here, guys. Airdrome is still running as expected. Volume is still super impressive and creeping up higher and airdrome is still the liquidity base of base okay or the liquidity hub of base so you have max fear with fundamentally unchanged project with the strong project here backed by coinbase backed by an awesome base team so nothing has changed here and again airdrome is not a mean coin that's going to trend to zero so i wouldn't worry about that airdrome still performing quite well here especially compared to other altcoins next thing up we have one proof here that big players are entering the space while retail is being shaken out as you can see here blackrock microstrategy grayscale and fidelity bought the dip most of people of course didn't most people got shaken out it's a different kind of situation i understand if you are in fear me included guys the last couple of days were very hard for me as my laptop broke at the most important time here where i had to make a trade so it is not easy I understand that but as you can see here big players are buying your coins guys and big players are entering the space exactly at this crazy fearful moments big big lesson there and of course this can be an indicator that the cycle is not over yet and last but not least we of course have the revenue of airdrome just adding to my point, in the background, things are looking super healthy here for Airdrome. So again, I wouldn't be worried for Airdrome to crash to crazy low levels. Of course, in the bear market, it's a different story here. But currently, there's no indication that we are in a bear market. So I personally expect for Airdrome to reach the all-time high. Nothing has changed and my price targets are still intact. But let's cover the bad. Why is it important to cover the bad uh, topics as well? Because guys, if you don't have clarity here, if you don't have straight clarity, investment decisions will rely on panic will rely on hope and this is the way to get wrecked so let's understand why the markets crashed of course as most people know we have riots in the uk we have war scares and of course the biggest thing here is the yen trade unwinding i will not go in depth here uh, about this but you need to understand we still have huge macro scares this is why it's important not to form your entire dry powder right now keep some cash on hand especially if you retest those lows which is still a possibility. If you're fully invested, you will rely on fear, you will be shaken out, and this is not the best spot to be in. So keep that in mind. Macro-wise, we're not out of the wood yet. Of course, things are looking much better here, especially compared to a couple days ago, but always have a cash position, of course, if you can. All right, coming to the price action of Airdrome, and I have to say I'm super impressed by Airdrome and its price action as it is outperforming most major altcoins, guys. Most major altcoins, are at last cycle's low, are absolutely wrecked here. And meanwhile, Airdrome still, despite this massive FUD here that we had the recent days, still up over 60% from the bottom. And Airdrome, one of the few tokens here, guys, that created a higher low right here. So super, super impressive. But the bad thing is, if you zoom out, we are again underneath this bull market support band. And as you can see here, we got rejected, which is a typical rejection here, especially after the first retest. So we'll have to see, can we push here above the bull market support band? And this story repeats until we hold it as support, have multiple weekly candles above it, and then the trend reversal is confirmed. But overall, guys, 
this is looking super healthy as you can see here this crazy wick indicates buying power and again this higher low many altcoins are absolutely wrecked while aerodrome is up over 60 percent this speaks volume guys so once we are again in this full bull environment aerodrome is ready for takeoff in my personal opinion so now what what is next what is the best strategy to play this in my personal opinion guys we are in a very very finicky situation we look bullish here in the short term especially after this bounce but the macro is still unclear and there's still a couple of things here we need to get past in order to, for me to be completely bullish at this current stage the best strategy is be in the market why because you're going to miss out especially here if we pump we, and we already pumped a decent amount but also if possible here guys have a cash position at all times of course if the possibility is there have a cash position especially to reap benefits here if we're going to retest some of the lower levels is it a possibility yes guys it is a possibility that we chop here for a couple months a v-shape recovery is not a certainty here it sounds boring but this is the best way to be prepared for this kind of situation and you have to keep in mind guys here what dictates here the price action of crypto especially in the next couple weeks and months is going to be the rate cut we're going to have an emergency rate cut here this month usually emergency rate cuts are not the best thing because usually they're not priced in of course in the long term they are bullish in the short term they can be bearish so you need to be careful have a cash position be in the market be bullish on yourself do your own research and the most important thing is as always don't get wrecked